Yes, my real name is Michael Scott for those that watch The Office. <laughs> Any Office fans in here? <laughs> Five of you, all right. It's been off the air for so long, I guess they forgot what fans were. Right. So anyways, it's been a bad week, ladies and gentlemen, for me. It's been a really tough week. I got my first email from ARP. It's a program for people over 60 years old. I told them my age. They said they didn't care. We thought your jokes were as old as you are. And only on top of that, the next day I get a postcard that says, now that you've joined AARP, are you ready to talk about death and cremation? No. So I did the most sensible thing I could. I gave it to my parents. <laughs> so anyways, driving from gig to gig, you see a lot of uh, stuff and a lot of road signs. And so basically, one such road sign, this stretch of road was dedicated to this gentleman. And it had his nickname on it, Mommy's Little Fat Man. I know what the hell that means, but... So we know two things about this guy. He was way too close to his mother, and the city spent money to fat shame him. <laughs> Just saying. So anyways, uh, so during this last year, we all had a tough time with the pandemic, so I've managed to find some brand new hobbies for myself. I collect aluminum cans and distribute them to the homeless and tell them to keep the change. <laughs> so I like to go to the UPS store, park my car right in front of their trucks as they're getting ready to pull out with my blinkers on and waving and smiling and saying, yeah, it's not fun being you now, is it, pal? <laughs> I feel like it's good, good, good revenge. Anyways, so, uh, so I also seem to have this uh, thing, ladies and gentlemen, where I seem to start something and then put it off to the side. I've been told it's somewhere between procrastination and laziness. I call it pro-laziness. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> one, one person got that, all right. <laughs> and also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've been told that I should be a hair model. Let's hope that career is not cut short. <laughs> so uh, one other thing that I was uh, not reading, but uh, it's not a true fact, but it's a fact somehow. Scientists have that study road driving habits have found that drivers do not use eight out of ten fingers to signal other drivers. So anyways, uh, speaking of driving, I got pulled over for an Amber Alert. The cop's name that actually pulled me over was named Amber. So I radio dispatch and said, hey, I found her. <laughs> I'll leave you all with one other joke. Uh, so when I was seven years old, I was diagnosed with uh, Asperger's and autism. So I'll be repeating my whole act here in about 10 seconds. <laughs> so. Anyways, thank you ladies and gentlemen, have a good night. Woo!